Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our Star Trek Discovery Season 2, Episode 11, Thoughts Video. I just finished watching Episode 11. I'm just going to be sharing my general thoughts after having just finished watching this latest episode of Season 2 of Star Trek Discovery. So yeah, I just finished watching a Perpetual Infinity, so Episode 11, where we see Burnham receives the union she's been longing for, but it doesn't quite go as she had imagines, and Georgiou and Tyler sense a disturbing change in Leland. So yeah, I just finished watching this episode. I'm going to be spoiling stuff in this episode, so if you haven't seen it, you don't want me tuning in. But yeah, so I just finished watching this episode, and I actually really enjoyed this episode. Burnham gets to meet her mom, or well, not meet her mom, but get reunited with her mom, and her mom's a little cold about it at first because her mom's been bouncing back and forth through time for a very long time, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, like 800, I think she mentions, 800 mission logs. So 800 times she's bounced back and forth in the between the future and the past and she's stuck in the future after the whole you know universe has gone to shit she's just trying to save it and so yeah that whole thing was like completely unexpected for me I didn't go into the season expecting us to ha meet Burnham's mom at all I never even thought of it but I like that they threw that element into it and in this episode the fact that you know they're reunited but Burnham's mom's a little hesitant to it because you know she's seen her daughter die so many times because of all this time travel she's doing that she's kind of become disconnected with Burnham so and then the, but Burnham's just like but mom but but mom she's just a little kid she has to revert back to that 10 year old little girl uh in that moment when her mom's kind of like rejecting her and being like I don't want to talk to you right now I don't yeah, I don't see you and it's like oh wow that's that's some cold stuff but yeah really enjoyed that kind of character dynamic we got between those two and a little bit of character development we got with Burnham getting her a little bit of more closure when it comes to her parents and well at least with her mom at least a little bit in this episode but yeah there were some different elements that were also interesting beyond just what was going on with Burnham and her mom which was the biggest which was the main part of this uh, episode is the big thing obviously they caught her her mom who was the red angel uh, but they were dealing with a lot of the of kind of aftermath of having caught her and trying to figure out what they can do uh, but yeah there's a couple other things that kind of happened this episode we see the control which has been kind of the AI bad guy of this season the one who apparently ends up causing the future where all life has uh, been annihilated so that's they've been referring to that as control and that takes over uh, Leyland in this episode which I thought was really cool and interesting concept it kind of mentions how you know it had it, it was faking being a um, Vulcan at first and then it took it was able to insert itself in um, Arium was it Arium yeah Arium uh, and then now he, they have had to move on into Leyland and to try and be able to seize control of the cube of not the cube the spheres information that we got earlier in this season which is what's going to help this AI evolve into uh, sentience and so it's a, a lot going on a lot of explanation as to you know the motivation behind control pretty much all what's been going on this season for the most part except for the signals which we still haven't quite figured out uh, but yeah I just enjoyed that element added into it it does kind of <laughs> it does beg the question they're inserting a lot of like really like super sci-fi tech stuff right like the fact that Leyland or Leland gets inserted with nanites that then take him over that a well that the control can then take over to take over this body that seems a little like that seems further than next generation level of Star Trek but maybe I'm a little off maybe I don't I don't know I'm not the I'm not a Trekkie I don't know my history I just enjoy it but that's one thing I have a little bit of a question about because this is technically a prequel series but some of the tech does seem a little bit more advanced and they do have ways of kind of skirting that they made a joke or um, pike makes a joke at one point about uh how he doesn't like the use of the hologram projectors he prefers the the uh screen so it could be something along those lines but i just thought that was interesting and i like that we're developed we're learning more about this bad guy the control uh but yeah that's all my general thoughts for this episode of star trek discovery we're getting close i think to the end of this season i'm curious to see how we're going to wind this all up how they manage to save the universe because we all know we know it kicks around for a few hundred more years because there's a few more shows that happen after this. But yeah, that's all my thoughts about this episode. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you thought of episode 11 of, Star of season 2 of Star Trek Discovery. Thanks again for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good one.